Hi, Mike. Hey, how you doing? I'm Joanne Cunningham. Nice to meet you. Thank you. It's very lovely to meet you also. Um, I'm here today to talk about a very exciting initiative that the Home Care Association of New York State is participating in, and it's called Bring the Vote Home New York. Uh, this is a little pamphlet about it, um, but the idea is that, uh, that we think that there's a lot of home care patients and, and clients who may have difficulty getting out to vote, going to the polls on election day. And uh, we are working with states all across the country to facilitate helping you to first register to vote. Do you know if you're registered to vote? Um, not yet. Not yet, but you will be. Today's um, a good day. <laughs> <laughs> so the first step is really simple. This is a voter registration form, and all it is is a simple one-page form that you or your family caregiver would help you fill out, um, and then it would be mailed into the local board of elections. And then you're all set. You're all registered to vote. Well, you never have easy. to do it again. It's really easy. And then the second piece is um, an absentee ballot application. And this is also really simple. It's a one-page form that you or your family caregiver could help you fill it out. And again, you could mail it in to the Board of Elections, and you can mail both of them in together if you would like. Um, and then once this is received, the election board will automatically send you an absentee ballot. So that allows you on election day to not even have to leave your home if you don't want to or aren't able to. And um, it allows you to vote in any of the elections that are taking place on election day. How convenient. It is. It is. So what we'll do is leave these with, um, with you, and you can take a look. And uh, again, really simple. Fill out the forms, mail them in, and then you're all set to vote from this day forward in every Excellent. single election. Yeah. Make it a lot easier. to the local high school okay. and me and my wife and daughter as a family to show my daughter how easy it would be we thought mm -hmm. and um, we had a little uh, trouble at the poll once the we got there mm -hmm. as far as uh, the wheelchair wouldn't fit in okay. so we had to uh, I had to tell my wife what to pull okay. so stuff like that makes it tough on people with wheelchairs or right. um, other uh, reasons to get in right. to vote. Right. Yeah, that, that's very true. And I'm sorry that happened. I mean, at least now you can do this absentee ballot in the privacy of your own home. Um, but um, it was great that you are able to get out to the polls and to um, visit uh, you know, at the site of a local election. Now, is this going to be um, permanent? Like, once yes. you do it once, is it, do we have to do it again or re? No, and I'm glad you asked that because once you fill out the voter registration, you are now registered to vote oh, wow. from today on. Um, on the absentee ballot application, there is a little box you can check that puts you on the permanent absentee ballot list. So what that means, if you're on that list, um, is that the local board of elections, every election just automatically sends you an absentee ballot. Great. Yeah, so that's good. Great. Mike, can you talk a little bit about what you think the value of the Bring the Vote Home campaign is for you and maybe others that are uh, similar to you? Oh, I think it's going to help when more people want them. To fill out the app, app this tease ballot, uh, um, especially with senior citizens. Yeah. And uh, I think it's going to help out tremendously. Good. Do you think people will get excited about participating? Oh, I'm sure in the they election? will. Yes. You know, yeah. You know, 
weren't able to get out before now has a say. Right, right. And, you know, different elections. Right, right. And there's a lot at stake with all these elections that we'll be voting on, especially exactly. this year. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's great. Well, good. Any other thoughts you want to share about this or challenges that you've experienced in the past? Um, I, I just think this is going to make it so much easier for home care and um, senior living to register and not have to worry about it for a while to get out there and make their vote count. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Bring Up Vote Home is a very important initiative because it's a great way to engage our patients. It's something that they really appreciate us bringing out to them and that's been the response that we've received when we've brought it to patients already. We're already naturally in the role of providing them with information about a wide range of other community services that can help them. This is just another example of that, helping them vote again. And for a lot of our patients, it's helping to show them and their families how they can start to adapt to the fact that maybe they can't get out of the home as much as they used to, as easily as they used to. And it gives them the opportunity to vote again, to empower them to do that again. We've already started participating, and that's because the Home Care Association of New York State has made it really easy. They've given us all the tools that we need to give to our staff, this is a simple rollout at team meetings, um, really easy and fast. The staff are responding well to it, they're excited about it, and it doesn't take a lot of time. I would strongly encourage every single home care agency to participate in this initiative. When you think about what we do, um, as home care providers, we advocate for our patients. As the Home Care Association, we advocate for our patients but the most powerful person is the patient themselves. And by allowing them to vote again, they'll send a clear message to the people who are making decisions every year that cut services and make access to care harder and harder, that this is a population that matters and whose voice needs to be heard.